Proverbs 21, 20. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. This proverb gets to the heart of much financial paralysis. Some are always caught in poverty out of too much spending. In our proverb, the wise man is seen as having plenty to meet his needs while the fool spends foolishly on unneeded items and doesn't have enough for the essential things. Fools spend money as fast as they get it, but wise men are disciplined and slow about spending and always save some of all income. Your spending habits are crucial for financial success. Income is not as important you can waste a high income as easily as you can waste a low income. Professional athletes prove it every day. A high income allows you to waste your money on big ticket items. It's not the high cost of living, but the cost of high living that ruins men. Just a few verses early in Proverbs 21 says, He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. You know, there are two kinds of financial losers. Lazy men who will not work and, uh, hard enough to earn a good income. And then there are hard workers who waste what they do earn. Proverbs 18.9 says, He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. What is the best way to limit spending? Well, let's consider, first of all, pay God his 10% right off, of the, right off the top. It's called first fruits. In Proverbs 3, verse 9 and 10, it says, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Second, pay yourself 10% into savings, like the ant. In Proverbs 6, verse 6, it says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. Thirdly, pay all living expenses. And then, spend the remainder as you want, but I would say do so very wisely. Credit cards can be disastrous for some, as it's spending money you don't have yet. Now, if you use one for convenience, pay it off every month and avoid the high interest that they collect, sometimes 20%. You know, it takes strong character to resist your lust and resist spending and save some income. But notice what it says in Proverbs eleven sixteen. It says, A gracious woman retaineth honor, and strong men retain riches. Saving is a measure of character. And perhaps that makes us understand why the Bible required a dowry from a man to the bride's parents. 